is cold. What do you say to the waiter? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but uh, it's so uh, it's so cold. <laughs> so please, please take me the other. Soup. Okay, bring bring, bring me, me uh, another soup. Another, another soup. soup. Okay, what would your waiter say? Oh, I'm sorry. I will change you right now. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, your roommate is playing his stereo after 10 p.m. You're very tired. You have an early morning class. What would you say? Okay. Um, I don't want to bother you, but um, please turn down the turn down your stereo. Very good. And what would your roommate say if he was a nice roommate? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know you. Are uh, situation. So um, uh, right now I, I will turn down, turn off the stereo. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. All right. You're in a hotel. You ordered, you when you booked the hotel room, you said you wanted a view, a beautiful view. You open your window and you see a wall, the view oh. of a wall. What do you say to the front cl clerk? Oh. Actually, I booked to the room with nice view, but uh, I see only the wall, so I want to change the room. Okay. All right. What would the front desk clerk say? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to check your register uh, book, and after checking the book, I will change your room. Okay. Very good, because you need to check to see if there's any other rooms available. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, next one. You've been late for three days in a row. Been late three days in a row. Five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you walk in on the third day. What would your teacher say to you? Uh, I, I, I late. Late three, day, uh, three times in a row. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning at 9, oh, 9 10, and you walk in the room going, hi. Uh, <laughs> what would your teacher say? You always be late, so tomorrow please come to on time. Okay. What would you say to I'm that? So, oh, I'm really sorry. Tomorrow I will I will not be late. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Very good. I'm sorry. Please, I will not be late again. All right. Now we're looking for a philosophical answer. Philosophical answer. You're going to Victoria. Philosophical. Philosophical. Oh, what does it mean? Uh, one example was don't cry, don't cry over spilt milk. Oh. Okay, we mustn't don't cry over spilt milk. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So philosophical okay. means life goes on. Right. Those are two that I can use. So philosophically, it's go, you're going to go to Victoria tomorrow, but you see that it's raining, so the trip is canceled. Philosophically, what would you say? Hmm. <laughs> Philosophically, such as, well, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Let's do something else. Oh. Right? Is there any other, one more chance, any other words or phrases that you might want to use that you can remember? Actually, I, I was absent yesterday, so I didn't, I didn't memorize it. Okay, no problem. All right, well, what about, um, what would you say if you went on a date and had a great time? It's a week later, and your the boy that you went out with hasn't called you. What would you say? Just normally, what would you say? What would you think or say to your friend? Um, I had a really good time. Thank you. To your no, to not to not to the boyfriend. You ah, haven't seen him again. Um, You'll never see him again, probably. What would you say to your friends? So, uh, just a friend. Just oh. a friend. You said that I had such a great time. Uh, what else would you say? Uh, um, I had I had a I had a good time with him. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. 
think he's very nice and good, but uh, I don't have another appointment with him, so I don't know whether we see you again or not. Okay, very good. What would your friends say? What do you think your friends would tell you to do? Uh, my friend would maybe give me a dirt with him. <laughs> give you the dirt on him? That's what I don't know. Okay, maybe they say, hey, maybe it's time to move on. Try and find another boyfriend. Try to find someone else. All right, very good. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Please.